whenever I make posts saying, you don't have to become a hospice care kid, or you were not born to be a caretaker, or you're not born to be a servant. So many people, some people jump on my um, page in my comments, they understand it's like a burden off their back. They're like, great, I went no contact and I was shamed for it. But inevitably, you get the people that come in, oh my God, I can never just go no contact with my parents. I was a caretaker for them forever and I would do it 14 more years if I could. And I just can't, I, I, they just can't understand how you would just walk away from your parents. And then you got people like, the Bible says, honor thy mother and thy father. You got these people that do this. They forget, they, they can't see all of the other comments with people talking about how their childhood was stolen, how they were made into second parents, how they were basically servants, how they were abused in some kind of way. They gloss over that. They're like, you just got to forgive. No, you don't. Pour into the people who have poured into you. Now, when I make these posts, I get so many comments. And I'm going to go through a few of them because I need people to understand that just because those people over there want to shame you, it is okay because they had a different experience. Their parents were different. You don't have to give to people who didn't give to you. This person says, Haitian here, my childhood was forgettable. First daughter expected to take care of my younger sisters as well as be my parents' servant. Literally, I spent years having to iron piles and piles of my parents' clothes, having to clean meat, cleaning the house, and wondering to myself, why do I have to do all this? It's so unfair. Basically, I was their unpaid labor. I didn't enjoy childhood because I didn't have one. I find myself at 41 reparenting myself and giving myself the love and care I didn't receive while I was a child servant. I'm intentionally selfish. I rest. I engage in daily self-care rituals. Oh, and I don't have kids. No, thanks. The only person I'm taking care of at this point is myself and my inner child. Many people, a lot of the child free women that I have come up, um, across on social media are child free because they were second parents to their siblings. This person says this stuff is the reason is one of the reasons I don't talk to my parents. From 8 to 18, I was responsible for all of the house chores and I had to have the food ready for my dad when he got home. I had to do things like shave his back and clean up before and after all my parents' parties, and I very rarely had a meal cooked for me or time for myself. I had to be responsible for the whole yard and driveway as well, as, um, as well. and we had a massive yard, and the driveway could fit 11 cars, and I was responsible for weeding, mowing, raking, de-icing, shoveling, everything. I got really sick for three days, and my parents gave me two to recover before I had to get straight back to doing all the chores. And they just sat on their butts drinking and partying and binging TV while I had to be my own parent and their parent. It was awful and I still get nightmares to this day of having to pick up after them. And I sometimes wake up screaming out of anger. Also, never once was I given chore money or even a thank you or the barest hint of human respect. Absolutely miserable, please don't have kids. If you are going to make them your caretakers, it's too much to put on children. This person says, as a Haitian myself, I can attest that Jesse Wu is absolutely right. My father never loved me, never saw me as a person first, unless I was attached to academics or work. As the firstborn, I guess he resented me for not being his savior and taking care of him when he never poured into me so he could sit down in the house all day without lifting a few finger. What made it worse was he was in the house my entire life. The two parent households that Blackistan romanticized, yet I was emotionally, mentally neglected. Had trauma inflicted upon me, equated, um, she equated SEX with love. As a result, I spent my entire 20s looking for what I didn't receive at home and love in all the wrong places. So my disdain for um, BMs started from my father. My final straw was a bandit assaulting me in front of my house on my way to work at 3 a.m. That's why I distanced myself from Blackistan and these mammies and their criminal thugs. Okay, so then I started talking about how these parents were stealing from their kids' futures by taking their credit, by taking their social security um, numbers and putting appliance, appliances, um, utilities, 
credit cards and their names. And so I got hundreds of comments on these as well from both my TikTok pages and my YouTube pages. This woman says, most of my uncles did this to their children. And when they became 18, all their children spazzed out on my uncles. I'm talking cable bills, cars, the internet, abandoned rent center leases, all kinds of stuff in their name, but before they turned five. So they're stealing from the kid's future. This is financial abuse. And they know that they can get away with it because most of these kids are not going to put um, their their parents on front street. They're not going to file the, the police reports. This person says, this happened to me. I couldn't get cable TV because of it. Where I live, there was only one company that provided cable. So I was SOL. How I found out was when I wanted to open an account and found out I owed $500 to them, even though I was living in another state at the time in a dormitory. They told me to report my mom to the police for identity theft. But as a 20 year old at the time, who would want to put their mom in jail? My sister excused her behavior, saying that all the parents do this in the neighborhood. I was disgusted because it wasn't right. Absolutely. Stealing from your children and not paying it back is absolutely egregious. And this person at the bottom says, this is why the prosecution should be automatic. Most kids won't, though they should. It's, a, it's like a victim of abuse. It is a victim of abuse. It's financial abuse. This person said, I met a lot of people, mainly black women, whose parents misuse their personal information to apply for utilities and credit in their children's names. I think companies need to start prosecuting the parents that do this. This story is so hurtful. Absolutely. The companies need to do this. There is their due diligence to make sure that the social security number and driver's license or some kind of ID matches so that children will not keep being victims like this. This person said, my mom worked for the bank. And when I got my first real job, she would take money out of my account when I got paid. That's literal stealing, literal. Um, the next, she, someone commented, I've witnessed this happen to people I know. Their parents spend the money on themselves or would send the money overseas to relatives. And then Peppa says again, literally, my mom sent my aunt money she took from me who never paid her back in the past. So this person said, my mother put bills in my name, put $1,200 on my credit card, stole money and constantly gaslit me. Finally cut her off a couple of years back. And then this next person said, my mom did it to me, had to work three jobs through college to pay it back. Didn't help me at all. So imagine how hard it is to get through life, to do life, try to become an adult, to worry about school, but you're worried about a debt that your parents put you in. And this is the reason why I consistently say, pour into the people that have poured into you. If people are doing this to you, it's not right. Is absolutely not right. And I don't care if it's your parents or not. I don't care about the reasons or not. If there is no restitution, if they if they haven't fixed the, the issues that they have done, then it is perfectly fine to walk away, to go no contact, to say, uh-uh, get someone else to do it. Because they have put you behind the eight ball. They've taken your childhood. It's up to them to handle their future because they took some of your childhood. So you guys go ahead, jump in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share.